Okay, next. So. Oh, morning, morning, morning. Ah. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay, let's see if I can get myself awake here. I can't hear you, so. Uh, anyway, if I get my shoes on here. It's coffee time, coffee time, coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Ah. Ah, it's a beautiful morning. Yeah. Yeah, that might be an idea. Might be a very good idea. Ah, oh, blouse, 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 blouse. Hey, sir. Oh, girl. Privacy, privacy, privacy. Oh my God, I'm still there. <laughs> I left home at 16. I worked my way through high school. I maintained an A average. I got an academic scholarship to Florida State University. I went for a couple years, but I got rambunctious, wanted to do something with my life, so I dropped out and joined the Navy. I had a, had a guaranteed Navy school, top secret, you know, uh, uh, security field, and I went for it. And I got out in 1977. No, I got out in 1975. And um, moved around the country, wound up in Colorado. Okay. Yeah, I, I ran for mayor a couple times, but uh, the race looks like it's rigged because three years ago I got 3,000 votes, which was nice. This year there was a lot more interest. Not only people were going to vote for me, they were going to encourage their friends to vote for me. There was so much more interest. This one I'm going to take out later. I'll okay. put one of the other ones on top. I search for certain things. Yes. Oh, God. More dogs. Yes. Ah. Oh, send him in. Let me in. Mm. Always secure your home before you leave it. Hey, check it out. Turn to page 45. Page 45 is yours truly. Do you have copies of Oh, it's yours, yeah. This is for a good part. Yeah, political awareness. Yep. Hey, forget oh, political awareness. Let's take a look at study brace awareness. Oh, no, Leslie, no. Uh, study you braces. Put the pants on, Leslie. You put your <laughs> I got pants on, see? No, man, we don't want to see your pants, dude. No, <laughs> then why are you staring? Then why are you staring? WTO, political awareness in Mexico. Here, how about some Leslie awareness? Oh, look at Leslie oh, awareness. Oh, look at Leslie awareness. Leslie, take that on there. Oh, uh, okay. Don't worry about that. Uh, they're just teasing. Well, then come over there and bother me, and then you want to see me over here. Oh, that's terrible, terrible, terrible. 
My bad. Oh, uh. My life is good. Shopping. I'm here walking through the alley here, and on my way through, I like to check out the uh, garbage cans because I find some uh, recyclables in a garbage can. But not today. Oh well. Such, such it is. When you got a camera on you, you can't find nothing. <laughs> oh well. Smile, folks. You're on candid camera. Yeah. How y'all doing? I brought my camera crew with me. I hope nobody minds. Uh, oh well. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> well, I've got my camera crew with me, but just showing a day in the life of Leslie. And, uh, you know, basically I'm a community person. I like community. I like to make sure that our community comes across, and I like to be a positive influence on my community. And I like to, uh, if I see something that's not being handled properly, I like to be involved in a way, in a positive way. You know, if you, uh, rather than beating somebody up because they're doing something wrong, why not? Hey, why beat them down when you can pull them up? You know, pull people up. Don't forget to pick up steady brakes. Oh. What's up, Leslie? Uh, I'm hoping somebody can come up with four dollars so I can get some cigarettes. <laughs> any, volu any volunteers? I can't buy you any cigarettes, my man. You doing uh, all right, though? I'm doing all right. I would do better if I had cigarettes. <laughs> I don't have any no, so I don't worry about it. It's cold. You doing good? I'm doing fine. So far? I'm just I'm just so full of it, it's not funny. <laughs> Anybody here got four dollars think about? Make money. Well, that's a that's sort of a photographic uh, process done by the US government. And if I did it, they'd probably arrest me. <laughs> oh, I was joking aside. Did you get enough money? No. <laughs> I came back and begged you. You got a credit card, you don't need money. <laughs> Four dollars. A yellow pack, American Spirits. I really don't make that much money. That's why I'm broke. Sometimes people will <clears throat> take my picture and occasionally they'll give me a tip or two. But most times they don't. Um, and if I didn't find that 50 cents in the... Uh, hey, pretty good. How's it going? I'm doing very good. Very good. You have a good day now. Yeah. <coughs> See, that's the second time I hit you up that I saved you before you got to it. <laughs> but I tell you what, instead of getting a cigarette, you can probably buy my first drink at down to the bar. There, gone that way. Well, I can serve you money as much as I can. Oh, I have no plans of leaving Austin. Um, I'm not a stupid man. And if, I, if, if anybody that has <clears throat> the good fortune that I have to be as well respected as I am in this town, to leave this would be a uh, disservice to myself. And I'm a greedy person. I'm going to take care of me. <laughs> you got to see how I get dressed here for When I get to go in, I have to readjust myself. Ah. Ah. <laughs> come on, come on. Oh, wow. hey, hey. How are we doing? How are we doing? All right. Rum and coke. Leslie, we got way back. Man, I remember when he had his little house on 6th Street and the city of Austin made him take it away. And now I see him everywhere as I go. He's a part of Austin. If he, if he were gone, I would miss him. <laughs> it's that simple. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Come on in. I don't bite. Come on in. 
Come on. Here I am. I, I use ladies' room because they've got a mirror. And that way I know that I'm still there, you know? Just, uh, yes. Uh-oh. That uh oh we got to do something here with the mirror. Long well, we got the mirror, let's use it. Life is all about appearance. So you got to keep your appearance up. <clears throat> and when you drive down here, there's one cop in a black T-shirt that says police on it. You don't see police until you get down here. He's going to tell you to pull right around the corner here. And there's going to be about 15 cops because they're going to write a lot of tickets. Right over here, there's going to be a shitload of cops ready to take your money. Because the police in this town are not here to protect you. They're here to rape you for every dollar they can. Hey, hey, my God! Woo! They're here to rape you for every dollar they can. Oh, there you go, young man. How you doing? Thank you, sir. Uh, no problem. I happened to be there, and they were there waiting for me. Appreciate it. No problem. Uh, next, uh, next one is over there. They tell me. And next. Wait, uh, they tell you what to write about? Are you seriously? Fucking I'm a columnist. I write about what they want in the column. Then now, next one's about love. I thought columnists were about what they wanted to write about. Well, yeah, no, they, they, they give me the subject. I write whatever I want about the subject. Next, uh, next one is love. Hey, love to a man or love to a woman? Love. All right. Just love in general. Huh? Yeah. And I, hey, I can, I can, I can talk about either one. Huh? I can talk about all of it. Hold on, hey. Me and women. You could talk about all. Hey, so how? Do you I talk about love and Driscoll right here. So hey, what do you like? You know about the rumors about where you're from and all that stuff. Huh? Your the rumors. Oh, yeah, I hear that I'm a sociology uh, professor at UT, and I hear that I'm just doing sociology study. And, uh, God, people make it. Uh, there are so many great urban legends about me. You know, another one is I'm an attorney, doing this for, for legal reasons. And others, people say that I'm a doctor whose wife and daughter died. And we all wear the same, and I wear their clothes in memory. And, girl, we all wear the same size clothes. Ain't that great? Damn, what a love, what a family. Anyway. Uh, but, you know, all these are just urban legends, and, you know, I'm just a homeless guy. So how does Leslie make a living? <clears throat> uh, you're looking at it. Uh, there is no money. There is no There is no There is no Why do you think you're buying me a drink? I don't have money. How do you pay hey, your rent? You, I, you you I don't have rent. I know you live in an apartment. I do not. Where do you keep your I know somebody that lives next to you. Hey, when you, you, you see this film, I live, you know where I live? Where? I live at Einstein Brothers Bagels. On the back porch. Hey, what do you I got my bed there right now, set yeah. up. Hey, outside? That, yeah. Hey, what do you keep your clothes for, shit? Uh, I had a day where some people tried to kill me. And uh, I got out of it without having to kill any of them. And that, that was a special day. Because uh, to meet such uncalled for hostilities, and to put it, that's a nice word for it, uh, <laughs> and uh, get out of it having to kill anybody, it's probably the best day of my whole life. And that's, let's not go any further into that. Anyway, um, So anyway, what else is going on? I'm sorry. Hey, what do you what do you want to end up doing? I'm doing it. He's he's living the dream, right? Like, so what are you gonna do when it gets cold? It gets cold in Texas. <laughs> Sometimes. <coughs> I know, I love one thing I like about this area is these people are so cool, they leave the music running for me. So I have, I have this nice home with a stereo system. God, it's so nice. See, life is what you make it, you know, and here I am, a homeless guy, and instead of living like other homeless guys and whatever, I've been fortunate enough to fall into good areas and by being different and so very selective about where I stay. Hey, 
What other homeless guy? This is what can happen to you in your life. You be a homeless guy with nothing, and then you can have, as long as you pay attention and show respect. The fact that I come here and sleep would have been one thing, but the fact that I make a point of getting up. I mean, I get to sleep at four o'clock in the morning, or, but I'm up by six, and I pack up everything and put it away. And the respect I show these people by being particular and conscious of what their needs are, it gives me the opportunity to live like a, I like a queen. Okay, so I'm a queen, so I get to live like a queen anyway. But you know, see, if you show respect, you get respect. And this is just the way it is.